Well, hello everybody. My name is Vicki, and today I'm here to teach you how to make some candy. So, my first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little flower cup, just like this one. The only materials that you're going to need are going to be some fades. You can use whatever color you want. You'll need some scissors and some super stretchy string. The very first step that you're going to do to make this cup is you're going to measure out a piece of string. Um, I found out that the way I measure my string is in fathoms, which means the length of the tip of one hand to the tip of the other hand when you stretch your arms out like this. For this project, we're going to use half a fathom. So you're going to take your spool in one hand and then the end of the string in the other hand and just kind of like stretch it out like that and then I'm going to cut my piece of string. So this is the piece that I'm going to use for this project. The very first step to making your flower cuff is to put a bunch of little sets of three beads onto your string. I'm just going to use like rainbow sparkly beads to make this one. And you're just going to want to keep adding these sets of three beads until the bracelet is big enough for you or for whoever you're making it for. You can also use this uh, tutorial to make a candy headband. Just make it pretty big. I would make like 30 flowers around for a headband. So once you have all of your sets of three beads on your string that you need, kind of slide the beads onto one end so you, that when you tie it, you'll have a little bitty tail and a really long tail to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this. Um, I'm going to tie it about three times and kind of pull on it to tighten the knot. So now I have my single, my first row made. Then I'm going to take my long tail. We're just going to leave the short tail alone. We're not going to do anything with it for now. So I'm going to take my long tail and I'm going to string it through the bead right next to where it's coming out of. So right now it's like between this pink bead and this green bead. We're going to string it through this pink bead. Like so. Like that. And then now we're going to add one bead uh, onto our long tail, whatever color that you wish for the center of your flowers to be on your cuff. I'm going to go with white. Then you're going to take your long tail and you're going to skip this center bead here of the set of three and you're going to put your long tail through this bead, the third bead of the set of three. So, just like so. And it should make this white bead stick right here on top of the center, like that. And then you're also going to string your long tail through the first bead of the next flower. So, I'm going to string it through just that orange bead right there on the edge, like so. So you've gone up through this bead, put a bead on, and then through these next two. Then you're going to do the same thing again. Place one center bead on your long tail, and then skip this center bead here, and string your tail through the next two beads, like so. So it should look something like that. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way around the bracelet. And also as you're going around, you're going to want to like pull on your long tail to uh, tighten your beads so that the white beads stand up. Now I've gotten to my last center bead on my bracelet. So. Next, what you're going to do is put your long tail through 
the next two beads just as you would have done on any of the others. Okay, so that part's just like what you've done to all the others. But next, you're going to take your long tail and string it through the next center bead that's sticking up. So I'm going to put it through this white bead right here. And now we're on to the third row. So for the third row, what we're going to do, since our tail is coming out of this center bead here, we're going to put on a bead that is the color of the current flower that you're on, and then a bead that is the color of the next flower. So for me, that's a pink bead and an orange bead. So I'll string those on. And then you're going to put your string through the next center bead. So I'm going to put it through my next white bead like this. Oop. There we go. Again, you're going to put a, another bead that is the same color as this current flower and then a bead that is the same color as the next flower. So for me, that's going to be orange and yellow. And then you're going to place it through the next center bead that's popping up. For me, my center beads are white, so it's the white one. You just kind of tighten it a little bit as you go along so that they're all standing up. Now that we've gone all the way around the bracelet, string your long tail through this next white center bead just as you would on any of the others. So stirring it through there and then just kind of pull on the long tail to tighten it. And then you can string your long tail through the next two um, flower color beads. So for me that's a pink and an orange. Just like that. Stirring it through. Now, for the next step, we're going to place the very top of the flower onto the bracelet. So it's going to go on top of this white bead. So for me, that's going to be an orange bead. So I'm going to place on one orange bead and then string it through the next two flower color beads. So string it through my orange and my yellow. like that. Next I'm going to place on the top of my next flower, which for me that's yellow, and then I will string it through these next two flower color beads. So for me, yellow and green. String it through those two beads and pull it kind of tight. And then we're just gonna do that all the way around the rest of our bracelet. Okay, now we are down to our last um, bead that is going on the top of our flower. So we're gonna string that on and then place it through the next two flower color beads like so. And um, the easiest way to tie off these little flower cuffs is just to bring these strings up next to each other and then just tie them together. So I'm going to take my long tail that I've been working with and string it through the bead directly under it. I'm going to be going this direction. And then I'm going to string it through, I think I'm going to go here, here, and here. So that they'll come out, uh, the long one will be here, and the short will be here, and then it's time. So, let's do that. So I'm going to go into the next pink one next to the one that's coming up. It's getting difficult. Maybe I'll just turn it the other way. Oh. There we go. And then I will string it through this white center bead. And then I will string it through the pink bead right under 
the bead that my short tail is coming out of so that they will be right next to each other prime tying position and then I'm just going to tie that in a regular square knot like four times and now I'm going to cut my little tails off and now our bracelet is complete and I can't wait to wear it it is so adorable I love the sparkles and of course rainbow is my favorite color so that's our finished bracelet now you know how to make your very own flower candy cuff you can make them for you and for all your friends and to trade away at festivals so thank you very much for watching my very first tutorial if you want to show me what bracelets you make after watching this you can send me your pictures on facebook or instagram at vicky's candy shop there will be links down below for that i plan to teach you guys how to make everything i know how to make um, I'm going to start with the really easy, simple stuff like this and like multi-stitch cuffs and I'll work my way up so that you can follow along. You can subscribe if you want to see all my tutorials and comment if you need help or if you have questions or if you have a request of something that you want me to teach you how to make because that would be so awesome. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.